The national spotlight remains on Penn State's campus as the sex abuse scandal plays out. And at least one woman in Ohio hopes it stays there as long as it needs to to help raise awareness about crimes against children. News Channel 15's Elizabeth Fields talked with a survivor of sex abuse today. And Elizabeth, she told you she sees a lot of parallels between her case and the situation at Penn State. Unfortunately, she does, Mark. And Heather, Nicole Bromley says she was sexually abused for years, beginning when she was eight, by a man she loved and trusted, her stepdad. She says she understands why it took years for the Penn State cases to come out, because abusers are very good at keeping, the, keeping their victims silent. Nicole Bromley kept her secret for years. Her stepdad was sexually abusing her. But she broke her silence and said she's proud of the victims at Penn State for doing the same. I think it happens all too often. You know, the last time we heard about a huge scandal was in the Catholic Church. Now it's basically the same thing rewritten to a high profile university campus. So I think this is happening in places where we least expect it, and it's happening all the time. She says it makes her sad to see the chain reaction of people who she thinks were protecting themselves over helping victims. The, the chain of events where we're seeing cover up and people wanting to allegedly um, protect their name, their fame, wealth, anything, you know, we see this happen all the time. And unfortunately, kids are being hurt because of it. There are more children who will be abused when we cover these issues up. So far, former Penn State assistant football coach Jerry Sandusky is facing 40 counts against eight different victims. But Bromley believes there are probably more victims out there. Abusers are really good at what they do. They silence the victim in many ways. When they believe and trust someone, especially someone who is an authority figure, who has a lot of respect, who has a lot of money, who holds high position in community, kids are going to believe what that person is telling them and they're going to be afraid. Bromley says the legal process will be long, but the healing process for victims will be longer, lifelong even. She hopes that everyone will take the opportunity to use Penn State's case to talk with their own families and raise awareness about the crimes against kids. All right, thanks, Elizabeth.